Since uh, last week, we've had several more fields confirmed to have late blight. Primarily, Bingham County was the first site, and then they found one in Power County and Bonneville County, and now they have two confirmed cases I know of in Madison County. All of them have been on the east side of the state. So far, there hasn't been anything in the Magic Valley or more to the west. So with the weather that we've had, though, we've had to continue to have more and more rain. I think it's uh, very important for growers to stay on a protectant fungicide program uh, in areas where if you haven't had late blight, um, you probably don't have to use uh, any kind of special product. If you're over in an area where late blight has been confirmed, though, then you probably want to use something that has a curative nature. And there's a, there's a whole list of those that are available. You probably want to be on a seven day schedule at, at the most. Um, you think of these fungicides a lot like sunscreen. They have a tendency to weather off in time, um, so they, they break down. You can't put one on and think you're going to get coverage for a long amount of time. Now, over here where we haven't had late blight, I don't know that we need to have our intervals that close, but we still need to be thinking about protecting the crop. If we were to find late blight over here, we would want, in say the Magic Valley, our growers in this area would want to ramp up what they're doing and uh, be much more proactive in getting protectant, protectant fungicide on the crop.